What's up everybody, welcome back to part 3 of the Game of Thrones episode 1. Let's crack on shooting it without any further ado. If you remember, Gary just be sent away to the wall and some wee guy called Ethan, I think I'm shouting right now, is now Lord of Ironrath. And now I am playing as Ethan. Looks like a smug little bastard. I couldn't find him. Could you? Nah, I'm a fucking ninja pal. He hides too well, and if he was smart, he would reveal himself. That's not like this game. Not pop this hide and seek, is it? Maybe something happened to him. I win. Congratulations, your lordship. Ah. Uh... Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. She's getting all stuck, girl. Never You're lower you ship. I'm right here, and I promise I'm not going anywhere. I wish oh. Mira was here, and Asha, and and Roderick. I do too, but Mira's in King's Landing, and can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe. I promise. In King's Landing, whoosh! That's a good wee wait life to him, pal. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? <laughs> and he calls you a milksop. Sir Roiland forgets himself. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. It's not bad what does milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, <laughs> you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Like like a man. Try to see what we lost here again. Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord yeah, yeah. should know how to fight. Huh. Sure, swing it, Dafty. You like me? Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. <laughs> we had so much fun. Your death vessel. Then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the lord in training. And he never smiled anymore. And Asher... Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. Just the way I you are. Responsibilities. I don't want to change me. I have to change. I promise I won't. Change. I won't change. Good. Thank you, promise again. I'd rather have a brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. Unfortunately. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. Fucking too late. I could have all the sweets I want. No, you can't. Only it was that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? You fucking grew on that. Why not? Lord Ethan, you're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Fuck see, I'm up for what a day or two. Fuck me, man. Got some on me already. Let me chill it. What I mean? Let me play and see. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding Fuck justice. See. Has he? I? Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us, please, Ethan. Sorry, pal. I have to go. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Sorry, uh, Paul. If that's what's required I have to go. of me. Very well then. <coughs> Excuse me. Back to place soon enough, kiddos. A bunch of fucking orphans, man. Unwanted orphans at that. Never faced any orphans, of course. 
Let's just cut one. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Fucking don't worry, I get told. They were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men, lord. Let's be having you. Oh, you know you look fat. Fuck you now. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. Is that fucking right, you think? I've been waiting for this day all my life. How dare you? I dare. And I'll do as I damn well please. Oh well, yeah, I... Royal and slash and bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. Yeah, no fuck off at me. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries, you cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? As I cut me up, cut. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. You hear that? Attack for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. She had this point of your fucking men, you your squire, Lord Ethan. He acted in your name. And you are the Lord of this house. He was defending his family as any man would. But your men murdered them all. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me! You heard me. He was sent to the wall. It's done. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. I lock it, pal. You denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Oh, that's you fucking clump. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. <laughs> she was. This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Oh, told. You beat it, you fat like. Lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven, letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and How denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. 
You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. You beat it. Yeah, tank. Look at you. Oh, a fucking bull cut, man. Need your throat slightly wanker. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. Can do it. Need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Do we? Sound. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. So now my plan is this fucking dyke. No respect to dykes, of course. Probably not the best way to put it, but I no respect to anyone of any sexual nature in that course. All to her own, of course. So wait, she'll go on there again. Carl, I have a tree. Even make this for me. That's stolen straight from fucking all the rings, isn't it? Oh, thank you. Right, we're after. I'm finished later. Read, of course. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. Should get it, that's why. mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. Well, I don't want to see him again, are you, Paul? Asher sent me this coin to remember him. A what coin. A strange place, Essos. Oh, I saw something with um, the dragon. It was very Queen. kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. Is Daenerys? Is it Daenerys? Something Daenerys? Something. Daenery, something. Sorry, I'm terrible with his names are. Fucking dodgy. Daenerys Targaryen or some shizzle. You know what I'm talking about. The blonde tailed bimbo. The one we all think's fucking awesomely hot. Wonders made by man. By Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. That's another cunt you'll want to see again, pal. I hope to see them all someday. Aye, <sighs> uh, when you're dead. Sorry. Be a harsh but hi. I just look. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Why do you want that? Wait for mother, hey. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. So I'm just here to do things for you, my mummy. No bother. No bother. One moment. Hello? Oh, sorry, my lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. Where the fuck are you? I'll come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Oh, come in. Come in to me. I'm kidding, don't. You look manky. Assuming that's maybe blocks of coal. Begging your pardon, my lady, but you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, better from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Have her? Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. <clears throat> you work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. Why? That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Ah, bitch. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... What did they say? 
I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. House Forrester? Oh, what they know? My hush. My big bastard hush. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Oh, she like a wee fucking ninja, are you? Good night, my lady. Catch you after, pal. You sneaky wee bastard. I apologise if I'm selecting the options too fast here. It's just, I go through natural habitat, I quite seen something and go and bang. Oh, oh, hello. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Oh, it's an actual actor oh, as well. There's something we must discuss. That's good, I like that. It actually has a proper voice actor. Who plays actual character. And Game of Thrones, that's fucking awesome. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. Good. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. And this, I'm what you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It's well, raises problem, questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. That she know? She was very pleased with herself. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what the I do. fucking know. what? She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. I right, sound. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. <laughs> Nosy bastard. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. Aye. Cheers. Neighbor. Neighbor here. God damn it. That's a queen of me, bro. A big bro. Big bro, it's quite small. You can do this. You can do it! Oh, I'm walking. Uh, oh, God. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Ah. Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? I'm guessing the Volvo is the actual voice actors. Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Sentiment troops! Fuck's sake. Neil. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. <laughs> Jedi, you hand up, you may rise. Is a northern house loyal to the king? Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. Yes, of course they are. I want to hear from the girl. Okay. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, your grace. Hmm. And yet. For centuries, the foresters have been loyal <clears throat> bannermen to House Stark, a house of traitors. They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. <laughs> hey! 
Perhaps <laughs> yeah, okay. her own good. The girl did name Joffrey as the one true king. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? He is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. He is. And I the Queen Regent, and Tyrion the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions, while in fact saying nothing at all. Just awesome. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. Obvs, I'm told obviously. there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester can... Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. Even Shaggy and Brother. Fortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. Let me go dangerous. Let me be dangerous. What did you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Stark, wielding a battle axe with the Northern Army. More white poor for any way in it. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? What that was, not She was just following her heart, Your Grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If oh. there's a point to this, I hope you find it quick. I done fucked up, I think. I done fucked up. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty yeah. to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she would... Let the would... girl answer the question. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will oh, have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play games. Who do you choose? Ah, uh, my king, of course. Keep you happy, Yoko. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities. Oh, Margie, don't remember that. That was just keep her happy. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? Oh, the you better leave. dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Maybe. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Sorry, Marge. Oh, buddy, old pal. What? I'll walk you out. Okay. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once at the tourney at Lannisport. Even Did then, you? he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honourable man. Cause he was. Right. I'm gonna have to cut this here. So um I'll also edit it so it's looking good and stuff what not. But yeah, I've had to cut his ears burn for quite a while this episode. Um Oh Jesus Christ, it's getting late here. Well, next episode should be up or sorry, next part should be up very, very soon. And hopefully you'll join me for it again. So cheers for watching Dennis Corner and as always I'll catch you after. Ciao!